the triumphant return after a week <laughs> off welcome back <laughs> to off the rack rebellion the podcast where we talk about costuming and how to take everyday finds and incorporate them into everyday cosplay how you doing kate <laughs> i'm doing well how are you billy I'm all right. I'm still getting over COVID, so it's yeah. uh, oh, my no. cough. Please excuse me. Oh, um, no. Hopefully you nearly. have some tea. I have some water, uh, but I did have another, you know, hot brown liquid earlier. So <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, you're like getting over COVID, and I am deep in the throes of jet lag. So this yeah. is going to be real fun. <laughs> and we'll try to pull something out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so really quickly, we were we were off because Billy and I were both on vacation to some beautiful locations. Uh, Billy, yeah. how was your how was your trip? It was great. We spent uh, two weeks in Playa del Carmen, which is uh, just outside of Cancun. Um, it's much more chill. It's much more. It actually feels much more Mexican than like Cancun. Okay. Cancun seems to feel very. Uh, uh, Americanized and mm -hmm. it's much more of a city while Playa del Carmen is still kind of more of a beachside town. Um, so I enjoyed it much more than the last time I went to Cancun. They were both great and we and we stayed yeah. at the same uh, family of, of resorts, which are amazing. Okay. Um, but it was good. We spent two weeks there. We had one week of beautiful sunshine. <laughs> and then the second week... Uh, it started to rain, okay. um, which was too bad. I think at that point, and I think in any vacation, you kind of have to spend a day or two, if 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 not longer, just kind of hanging out in the room. Like, I mm -hmm. don't find anything wrong with that. And I think yeah. having rain, I think, is uh, uh, it gives you an excuse rather than saying, like, oh, it's beautiful out and we're staying in here to watch SVU, which we love to do. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> love, we love Law and Order SVU. Um, that is a comfort watch in this household, nice. um, and it just gives us it just give, oh, it just gives us that excuse of like being able to just kind of do that without feeling guilty of yeah. having a full, full day of sunshine. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. We did some excursions as well. Uh, they were on that rainy week. <laughs> okay. Oh no. <laughs> made it that much more of an adventure i think we went to this place called excret um or escaret right and it's really beautiful it's an eco water park but they, there's wow. different levels to it so it's there <laughs> it's i don't know who walt escaret is but <laughs> he's got a whole like disney running down there okay. in cancun and wow. so there's different kinds of parks. There's like a full on adventure park where you zip line everywhere. And we were talking about this. I was talking about this with my wife, like how that's just not the people that we are. We saw whole okay. families um, getting in, getting onto the bus to Excaret that they were doing like the explore thing where you zip okay. line everywhere. Like, oh, do you have to go to the bathroom? You have to take that zip line over like <laughs> the cavern to go pee. <laughs> Oh, did you want you want you want some chips? You want to hit the vending machines? They're over there on that zip line. Like that's insane. <laughs> that's wild. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so it was good. Uh, how was your trip? Yeah, it was well. Unfortunately, shorter than two weeks. Man, that sounds kind of ideal because like we got back at eleven p.m. on the west coast last night and like major jet lag, right? Yeah. Um, and we but we like it was a week. We went to um, we went to the Bahamas. We were on. Paradise Island, which actually used to be named Hog Island. It was rebranded in, I think, 1969. Um, and it's right next to uh, New Providence across from Nassau, right? Like the famous pirate okay. town. So I was in a yes. little bit of a pirate and mermaid mode. I won't lie. I did plan some Star Wars things because there's that gorgeous tropical beach. And unfortunately, my youngest got horribly sick in the middle of our trip. And we actually got a wonderful tour of the doctor's hospital in Nassau. Um, which How was it? Highly recommend. Actually, it was so funny because um, our cab driver that that took us in first we started at a clinic and then they said he's so young he should see a, a pediatric doctor so you should you should head to the hospital. Um, and so our cab driver had like dropped us off and was like, "Here's my card. Call me when you're done. I'll come get you." 
So we call him at like, you know, 10 p.m. at night or something like that. And he's like, oh, my gosh, you guys, I thought you were gone already. I just thought you got another cab. Um, so sorry. It, it's bohemian time. You know, they take their time. We're like, no, no, that's standard for a hospital back home. And he was yeah. shocked. He's like, really? In the States, they make you wait. And we're like, oh, yeah, that's just that's just the medical world. Um, but, you know, and it ended up that he didn't need an IV, that he was able to finally come around and get the fluids that he needed just, you know, through they gave him this little, like, you know, syringe of fluids. Like, and he was like a little yeah. baby bird, but he perked up. But so we'd had three days in the middle of that week where we were like doing nothing. And like you mentioned, like just in the hotel room, luckily, yeah. like our room looked out onto the waterway like the shipway between yeah. these two islands which was fascinating like i was just like he would just sleep or watch cartoons and i was just sitting on the porch like you know you could be sick back home or you could be sick here in paradise and i could it's be just better here, right <laughs> like, it's yeah. better in paradise totally, let me tell totally. you absolutely and it's the beginning of their hurricane season so yes, it's their rainy it season and so our first day really like the day we woke up there right was totally overcast and I still made everyone put on sunscreen, which is why I still look like this. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you well, yeah. To. And we were like, but we were like swimming and doing like the, you know, their their little rapid river like float and like the water slides and everything. Like it's raining, but you're wet. We don't care. Like yeah. we're in paradise, right? Yeah. So it was pretty fun. And then kind of the same thing, like on the last day when we finally got a beach day with him, it was gorgeous and these huge clouds were coming in and kind of building over us. And I kept kind of watching it and watching it and, you know, kind of being like, all right, when do we call this? And then another front kind of came in and it was this convergence zone and it yeah. just started bucketing on us. And it was just kind of hilarious because we were like soaking wet by the time we got back, like ran back into the hotel at the resort. And we were just like, that was kind of epic. It, you know, it was kind of funny. So we like had a lot of rain, but we didn't it's fun, mind. Right? right. I mean, yeah, we're, yeah, we're used to it. We're in the Pacific Northwest. We're like, we, we live with this all the time, but we did. The, the funny thing to, for me was that he was sick those days that it was like ultra sunny and ultra hot. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to tell myself that if that hadn't happened, we all would have had horrible sunburns and skin cancer. <laughs> it's just like, right. Right. Same. I think like... I think the same way where it's like I, I, I got enough sun. I got a week's worth right? of sun on me. And yeah. I did get a I did catch a little bit where like the edges yeah. started to get like, you know, ground yep. a little too crispy. <laughs> right. And I was like, well, we got to pull this one out. Yeah, 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 right. Done, yes. Right? Yes. Um, yes. So oh, I God. think I got a little bit. You know, I th I got a bit. I got a bit of color. I don't know if this yeah. light is like washing me out or anything, but yeah. like, um, I got you, enough. Yeah, it's never enough Good. for my wife. She always wants to be well, much darker. But um, yeah, because like your couldn't. your climate in England is very similar to us in the Pacific Pacific Northwest, correct? Where you like you have a definite rainy season, right? Like where it's like yeah, like, I I don't think it rains quite as much. I think okay. it gets I think it gets a, a worse rap. Okay. Than what it is, I think maybe perhaps like the, you know, when you're talking about like your Scotland's and your Wales, perhaps like a bit further north okay. and a bit sort of wider expanses, um, maybe. But look, I've been here almost. Well, I've been here a year now. You know. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah. Or at the end of this month, it'll be a, a one year that I would oh have gosh. been here. So. Okay. Um, I mean, it rains, but it doesn't rain like I, I don't know. I've I counted more rainy days in Texas than I than I have here. <laughs> like it's been right. it's been kind of nice. Uh, nice. When it rains here, it's it's pretty quick. Like it's okay. never like a like a heavy like okay. thick boy drop. Yes, um, downpour. Like it's just it's not the of, tropical buckets that we got the other no, day. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just kind of a little bit, you know, a little okay. bit of rain. It and yeah, then yeah. it'll go away. Yeah. There, there can be days where it's like gloomy and like it kind of mm -hmm. wants to rain all day, and then maybe in the mm -hmm. afternoon it'll rain a little bit, but the whole day is yeah. like gone already. Yeah, um, something that's, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's actually how we are in the Pacific Northwest. Don't tell anybody. It doesn't bucket all the time. It's okay, actually good. just kind of that constant like. Uh, unless you talk to Raimi, because every time he stepped outside during Emerald City Comic Con, it would just start dumping out of my guess. <laughs> But usually it's kind of like this just kind of steady drizzle, right? Like, but, okay. you know. But it yeah. does drizzle. It is like a steady drizzle for it hours. It can be. It can. In fact, okay. I mean, it's out there right now. Like, it's we have this thing that's called the June gloom 
and it's okay. now July 2nd, but in fact, it is hanging on out there where it's just like very, it's, it's that, it's that marine layer weather, right? It like comes right. in and just hangs on. And then the sun eventually will burn it off in the afternoon also, often yeah. this time of year, but nothing like the Bahamas, right? That sun is intense. So, no, and it was no. humid and hot down there, which we're not used to. Yeah. It's also so. like, I don't want to get like too heady with it, but like, it's, I've never, look, I've, I've always lived like, I grew up in South Florida. I've been mm. through a lot of hurricanes. Mm. Like I feel so like I know it. Uh, what a hurricane uh-huh. <laughs> is and how it forms and everything. And uh, I feel like I've never really heard of a tropical depression starting in the Gulf. Okay. And that's what happened while we were there, which is okay. what... I'm sure you what you were experiencing right yes. when we left. Yeah, right um, when I was literally because I'm not used to hurricanes. I did experience one. Sorry, guys, we're not talking Star Wars. We're talking like yeah, right I know. Now, we'll get to I, it. We'll, we'll get, get there. It. I I did experience one. I was uh, for a very brief time. I lived in the Berkshires in Western Massachusetts. Very brief time um, for a job, and there was these two days that it was just dumping and windy and i was like what the heck wow this is a storm and they were like this is a hurricane kate <laughs> i was like what Whoa. and it had come up the coast and we were getting like the outer rings of it right but yeah. when we were there when we were getting ready to leave i had definitely been like i need to check the weather in a few days and lo and behold there was like unofficial statement about a tropical storm that they were watching a uh, barrel mm-hmm. which has now been upgraded to hurricane which is going to go mm-hmm. towards jamaica they're thinking um but i just I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, we just got out of the hospital. We're like trying to just like get, you know, like get home. And I was just like, when is this thing hitting? Oh my gosh, don't. So it's actually uh, going to be going to be hitting that region this week. Unfortunately for those people, because I do realize that those it's a hurricane uh, category five right now. So oh, which, already. Yeah. Yeah. And so they were saying, I even read that, um, cause I was reading a lot about it. Cause I was like, quick, I have to like Google everything about hurricanes. I know nothing. Um, and they were saying that this was not unheard of, but a very early development. It is a very early cat where fly. it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they were like, so, you know, but yeah, that was one of the really interesting things. You know, I was talking to, um, Liam T face cowboy this morning being like, Hey, how was your trip? You know? Uh, and I was like, you know, one of the awesome parts about it was just being in a different climate, right? Like yeah. that's just, that's something so unique to step out of what you're used to every day. Uh, yeah. It can be challenging, right? It, I mean, like, cause we don't get muggy here in Seattle very much at right. all. And it was pretty muggy. It was pretty hot. There were a couple afternoons that if you stepped outside, you were like, it feels like you're going into a sauna. <laughs> like, I feel like I should yeah, just be wrapped in a towel. So Yo, my, so you know. Yeah. Yeah, they would fog over, or even sunglasses. Yeah. If you're going out of sunglasses, as soon as you oh step out of the room, it like yeah. pff, fogged. Yeah, right. Yeah, so it's, it's like it is. It adds, I think, to that level of we're not at home. We're doing something <clears throat> different that is interesting about traveling, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, which kind of is what we're talking about this episode about? Ah, uh-huh. right. Good, a good seasons, transition. Exactly. Change of weather. And which do? is why you see it all. It all makes sense, uh, 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 loyal listener. Our dear, our dear listeners. <laughs> the preamble about being on vacation and warmer climates and warmer weather brings us to what we're talking about today, which is our not hot denizen summer. How yes. not to be too hot. In a cosplay, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> that's, what yes, we, that's what we got on. Because hotness is inevitable, right? <laughs> like, there are Being definitely, especially, pain. well, especially where uh, Batu East and West are located, like, mm-hmm. there's no escaping the heat. No, all. not at all. So, planning accordingly. Um, and I do get a lot of folks asking those questions, like, well, what did you wear? Um, things like that. So, well, you know, I, I you know, I, I, I did a lot of, what I did, I mean, in in Texas, and Texas gets into the hundreds. Yeah, um, yeah. So we gets, flew. We had a connection through there, and that we had a there was a heat advisory that immediately popped up on our phones, yeah. and we were like, "We're staying for an hour." Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. So, so it was a one ten. A, 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 a 
Yeah, a day of like a hundred and a hundred and three degree weather is not um it's it's not uncommon. Yeah. Wait, is that right? Yeah, yeah it is common. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It's yeah. not uncommon. Yes. Um yes, there you go. <laughs> COVID jet lag, we're gonna make it um, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, I had to deal with like uh trying to dress in a cool fashion like so that i'm not yeah. like super hot and and you know because i was doing my every days and going to work uh mm -hmm. so it's something to think about it's something to think about i think i've cracked it i don't know but i might have yeah. a higher tolerance than most and that's a good point is that you are from a warmer climate and i am very much from the opposite end of the mm -hmm. spectrum right like they would only cancel school in my college town if it dropped i think it was like below 15 degrees Oh, without wow, okay. like like not including wind chill right <laughs> it was yeah, like yeah. right so i'm very much used to like being cold um and heat is heat's tough for me like really tough for me um which is why i found the magic of linen <laughs> which that's that's it that is the silver bullet yes uh, folks <laughs> it's linen ta-da yeah, yeah it's, it's <laughs> <the> linen. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and it's like, it's also, <laughs> you know, one thing that I was thinking about when I was like kind of going through our notes just really quickly this morning, it is, I tend to shift my style to mm. match more of like, say a desert denizen. Um, yeah. I, when I went to see uh, Phantom Menace on the big screen, I was sitting there taking photos. Sorry, anyone from Lucasfilm that might someday listen to this, maybe. Uh, but I was definitely like sitting there being like, snap, 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 like, like during the pod racing scene because yeah. the stands of people were kind of fascinating in their simplicity to me yeah and it was like lots of layers but you could tell it was supposed to be really homespun fabric really loose weave um you know and like the colors were very muted those earth tones those but mm -hmm. like lighter Anyway, I was just fascinated by it. I was like, oh, this is this is like gold for me. I love this. So I feel like I do shift from like maybe my cargo pants and vest and jacket, either jacket on top or vest on top. You know what I mean? Like and yeah. a hat and like all that stuff. I do shift away from that for the summer to take more of a cue from actual existing societies and cultures that, you know, have really perfected living in hot climates and mm -hmm. also taking a peek at what the societies and culture in Star Wars look like in those hotter climates. So right. And that's where they're taking the inspiration from, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of it is um I tend to sort of sway to towards more of a again, I mean, I guess they pull from a lot of like Asian cultures, but again, mm -hmm. that's like also Middle Eastern coast cultures yeah. that they pull from, especially yes. for all that desert stuff. Yeah. Um and you know, that's where the standing colors are from. That's where, mm -hmm. like, hidden buttons come from. That's where, like, those long lines, that's right. where um, uh, tunics <laughs> yes. come from. So right. a lot of it is is taken uh, from that. Yeah. 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 And I, it, it makes sense, right, to be like, oh, well, these people perfected it over thousands and thousands of years. Like, it makes Absolutely. it makes sense to be to be like surviving in, in those climates. Right. Um, one thing also that I, you know, cause I, I often go through and I look at like, well, what clothing brands are kind of like mimicking these, these lines or something like that. Mm. And the login look, which I'm mm -hmm. hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly because it's German is German for layered is, is like this style that's been around for decades for like women's wear. Right. Um, and it is this like really those loose linen pants with a tunic over it with like a drapey linen cardigan over that mm -hmm. with like, you know, your big chunky scarf over that. And I think it's fascinating for one that it has had like a foothold in fashion for so long. Like if you look at um, the brand Flax or if you look at the brand, um, I'm trying to think of another one. Um, oh, Eileen Fisher. I think really like sometimes All right. the the like cuts there are sometimes a little more tapered or tailored, but not always. I, they're they're really more flowy and billowy, which really helps 
keep you cool, right? Like it's practical. Yeah, you want um, air to go in. You know, you want. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, you, want... you think like people think, oh, too many layers. Like, what are you doing? But it's it's layers of linen, and they're mm -hmm. it's open weave. It's it's mm -hmm. very breathable. And yeah. what you want is like kind of a bit of. I don't know when you go like this with a jacket, you cool yourself down. What yeah, you want right. For yes. That to constantly be happening right. with multiple layers while you're walking around, like that's right. sort of what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even still use. I I brought it when we went to Batu last last May, which wasn't cool. It wasn't like roasting hot, but it wasn't cool. But my like big, huge linen infinity scarf which it used to be a baby sling for my youngest yeah. right and i like i like took it apart and made it into an infinity scarf and i you know pull it over so i do have a hood because like yeah. you think like oh hood like sweatshirt cozy no hood is like shade me from the sun yes. like, the less the less sun that's hitting your skin mm -hmm. really like you're getting less of that like radiation from the sun right which is a type mm -hmm. of heat right so is it can seem counterintuitive but you're right like it it actually has a cooling effect. The other thing I found also from it's being like little like, fans, <laughs> it's like fans all over yeah, your Yeah. Oh my gosh. Body. Have you seen those ones that Adam has? Those like those fans. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, actual neck. fans, right? Yeah, actual <laughs> oh, yeah. fans. Yeah, but I mean, like those can be something too because I have. Um, yeah. I took it, you know, to Batu when we were there. But those little portable fans are like kind of a rectangle, and they clip yeah. on your belt. And honestly, whatever brand it is that I have. I didn't do anything except for sand it down a little bit. I thought it looked yeah. really Star Wars. But Adam has a junk traders outpost has these awesome ones that he's modified for his family with gorgeous paint. Like just mm -hmm. really cool. And they like go around your neck. So like just yeah, I, I really want to make things you can add in. Like is yeah. I really want to paint one up. <laughs> when he when I saw those, I was like, oh, that's amazing. Right. Like, I know. I, was I like, think oh. he sent a shockwave through through the community because people yeah. I, that was every comment was like, I have to do this. Yes. I have yes. to do this. <laughs> they're gorgeous. They're so well done. Yeah, they're um, amazing. Yeah, that's definitely something. So so I do have my little one for the belt, but I liked the idea yeah. that you could wear it all the time. And even if you kind of put a hood up and kept the sun off, but kept yeah. like the air circulating kind of around, mm -hmm. around your core, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the one thing that I'm always looking for more of in actual Star Wars is the hats, right? Like, right. Cad Bane has my favorite hat, but I feel like yeah. everyone's like, oh, that's a Cad Bane hat. So I'm always like trying to find other examples of like wider well, there brim is, hats. Well, there, there is a character that just to sort of like cement that kind of hat in, mm -hmm. in, in universe, there is another character in Jedi Survivor who's also a oh. bounty hunter. So it is, okay. you know, the bounty hunters are like, yeah. They're very outlaw, kind of westerny mm -hmm. swaying, right? As a okay. character look, right? We'll, you know, yeah. maybe we'll get into that at some at some yeah. point one day. Um, but they do sort of sway that way, even like you know. Anyway, yeah, they do sway that way. And there's another character that has that really wide, flat brim okay. hat, you know. Okay, cool. And it's almost a. Um, Oh, I forget. It's almost an it's almost an like a an antebellum hat, okay. you know. Like if you ever seen yeah. like Beyonce's like yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, video with you know with the big wide brimmed hat. Yes. It's a really short like bowl to the hat, short crown really, on it. Okay. Yes, really yeah. wide brim and really flat, and that's what okay. like, Bane has, and that's what that other character has. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know the other character's name, but it's another bounty hunter. Okay, um, sweet. I think they're always trying to like you know hide their eyes and stuff or kind of like so, westernized right kind of like yeah. look like that old western they they like like that profile yeah but i just want that because i have a million hats like that that i wear in real life because yeah. i look like this <laughs> so, like hats are my friend um yeah that's something that i i am looking to incorporate something better because i do know that they have the one that they sell in batu um the hat too yes the hat too which is <laughs> Come is on. another like you know like taking from asian culture right like yeah. um and i love it but i feel like a lot of our friends have it so i want to do something a little different right um, well i got my big you know i get a lot of uh uh well, i was about to <laughs> I was about to say something else but you know i get i get a lot of jokes over um over my hat but i think it's quite practical yes um which it does look like a fruit bowl sure that's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> <clears throat> Sure, yeah, maybe, maybe it's marketed like that. that. <laughs> no, it's actually it's, it's a hat. <laughs> I didn't make it. 
it is a hat. <laughs> like um, really? Oh, I thought I thought you literally took something that no, was it's a like, hat. and you repurposed. No. Oh, I love no, that. It's a hat. That's awesome. It's a hat. Someone it else is, is doing hat. this. <laughs> it is an existing hat. Like that's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> it's, I love it. It's also a I don't it's also an Asian hat of the okay. same kind as the one that they sell in Hatsu, you know. The, uh, okay, the yeah. Yours is just more just rounded, a different form, correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's flat yours. at the top, and then it just sort of rounds okay. at the edges. Okay. Um, so it's like a big serving tray. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, awesome. Um, a fruit. Because uh, literally, I have looked at baskets at Goodwill being like, what can I put on my head here? Anything? No? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send you a couple links if you're looking okay. for something. Okay, sweet. Yeah, uh, you know I got the links. You know, uh, you the always, links. yeah, the king of the links. <laughs> 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 We're not talking about golf either. <laughs> no. So, uh, so yeah, hats hats are a big deal. Yeah, just to keep that sun off of you. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? Let me interject for a second here because I'm gonna give a tip here that's okay. gonna it's gonna feel a little weird. Okay. Um, but growing up in South Florida, this is one thing. Growing up in South Florida, being a skater in South Florida. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, one thing that we found out pretty quickly was backpacks, not the move. Not I know you good. need to carry stuff when you're on planet. Yes. Get yourself some kind of sling. What you yeah. don't want is something that's like tucked onto your back yeah. for the and like whole it's day. insulating your your body right you lose so much heat, heat right there yeah. it's a layer of heat that's being trapped unless you find a linen one i don't know uh, but even know, then it right? would be multiple layers right exactly so yeah. i guess you can do the you know the the cool guy at like high school one shoulder oh, yeah. thing but then you start to i don't know what yeah. are you doing now you're just really just using it as a bag but now like, you just look like zach morris from <laughs> exactly <laughs> now you're like space zach morris and nobody so wants to be space zach morris uh i don't know maybe you do <laughs> um no but one table one matchup. you know when i first when i had first, new hashtag is space zach new, morris. new ma new matchup oh, oh okay i thought you said new we hashtag. can do a hashtag too <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> uh, just a, just a off, just a you know a, a, a throwaway tip here. Um, I don't think backpacks are the move. I think a sling bag mm -hmm. is the move. You don't want to you don't want to have something, um, like blocking your core too much. You want to let yeah. it breathe, you know, and your yes. back is part of that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so absolutely. a sling. That's why I always I always have less like a sling bag if I need to bring right. like more than one. Like I would. I personally would rather two sling bags than like one big backpack. Yes. Um, okay. Because it's going to make you hot. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Cause I do have my favorite backpack and it's like waxed canvas. So it's, that's not going to breathe. It's perfect. Oh, no. It looks wonderful, but it's not great for the hot weather. Right. Yeah. But I think, yeah, that sling, that messenger no. bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. And I should, I should, I should definitely put a little asterisk there. I'm not saying like backpacks are not cool. Mm. Like backpacks are amazing. I'm just meaning, mm. I'm, I just mean in the heat, like you've yeah. got to change it up. Yeah. Um, Cause you're going to be too hot, especially mm -hmm. when you're, you know, at Disney for 12 exactly. hours. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like all of these little things add up, right? It's like, mm -hmm. okay, shade with some sort of hat. Okay. Shade mm -hmm. with some sort of, longer lighter garment uh not carry something on your back like all these little mm -hmm. things will you know yeah you also don't want anything too tight you know mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you don't want any you know you don't want any gauntlets yeah. you don't want any arm yeah. wraps like i think all yeah. of that just it feels hot to me like i just got hot talking right about it. yeah yeah it goes back I to that lag and look right that like very drapey very yes. mm -hmm. open yeah yes open, desert drapey. denizen yes yeah i think that's the way I to like go it. Mm -hmm. And it'll change up also, you know, you can go, you know, uh, you know, you can cosplay year round, of course, but changing mm -hmm. I think, the seasons is great. But if you're going mm -hmm. to, you know, if you're going to the parks, I think, you know, this is the, you know, I think that's the way. Especially in go. certain months, right? Like, ooh, like when you're going yeah. and adjust your look for, for, for yeah. when you're going. I also um, realized that like a lot of the older looks, I feel like, um, were completely like long sleeve, long pants. And it like, I always love Ray because we do see, 
you know, some arms. So we do see she's yeah. got like her cropped or or like uh, like a soca or something like that. Like I yeah. think there are some other silhouettes that can be worked into that. Um, usually more more women, but um, yeah. you know, you do you. But um, I also I <laughs> look back at the um, the droids cartoon too, because like the one main guy oh, yeah. didn't he have like like the old eighties like sleeveless like silhouette. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I just kind of like laugh about that because I'm like, it's the only character I can really think of, except for like Gamorrean guards that you're like seeing his arms. Like, yeah, I think in I think there's there's in Star Wars, it's like you either have long, long sleeves or you have no sleeves at all. <laughs> right. Right. Like, or I you're, don't think like, or you're like one of the dancers at Jabba's that's got like nothing Arc. on. Right. It's like it's it's that gradient. Yeah. It's like it's not really there. It's either all in or like. <laughs> I just always found that interesting. So I know, but you know that. That being said, and you know, going back to like, I mean, we're pushing, we're pushing linen hard. I'm not saying mm -hmm. like you need to invest in linen yeah, as yeah. a as in big linen or whatever. Yeah. We're not sponsored by a fabric <laughs> as a podcast, but I would be if um, they wanted to. <laughs> yeah, but if you you know if you do the whole look, like especially you know I don't know guys out there get linen pants. Like, yeah get linen yeah. shirts like don't well, just do one like, or the other and like yeah. go with your cargo pants and then maybe a light linen top like go do yeah. the whole thing yeah because you're, you can, you're thank yeah right you can also get these things secondhand you know what i mean like again that trick of like if you're in like men's sizing like go up a size or two in women's and try that right yeah like um, like, like I've mentioned before, like my husband for his like pirate look for our Renaissance festival, it's, it's women's pants, it's women's tops. That I've like cut the sleeves off of and stuff like that. But yeah, you can find these things secondhand, especially because I think that this log and look style has been around for so many decades. So like some of kind of the older, like even, even in billowy cuts, they've changed through, through the decades yeah. I've noticed. So you can def you can definitely find that stuff secondhand. And then if you're looking to make new stuff, my goodwill often has linen curtains. So if you're looking to be like, wow, I want to make, you know, That's maybe an tip. infinity scarf or something like that, like go to Goodwill and check it out. Actually, my my skirt for my um, most recent Hut Slayer this past year was a linen tablecloth from Goodwill. Yeah. Like, you know, tip. like, and, and then I like use the scrap to do something else with, right? Like, oh, absolutely. yeah, you can definitely find it there. So, you know, take a look. Yeah, oh, like you were. Uh, I had posted something, you know, because obviously I banked a bunch of uh, content before I left, and one of the things yeah. uh, was uh, like a scarf, and it is linen um, mm -hmm. that I was wearing in one of my shots where I sort of pulled it up uh, uh, to sort yeah. of you know, cover my face because I was like, you know, it was incognito, right? Yeah, I um, love that. And. Um, those are old linen pants. Those I don't know if you remember yes! the story of those linen pants that I that I broke. They've I've worn I've used every scrap of it for something else. That's There's literally fantastic. a piece of that on most of my stuff. I've got a little bit wrapped around a blaster. I've got some on my shoulder armor. Uh, that particular scarf is actually my like mid torso thing that I use for oh, my Mando. Yeah. Yes, it's just untied and I just wrapped it around my face right nice you know, i use these pieces you know uh, in concert with one mm -hmm. another like i want to you know anyway yeah i want to to remix my closet my closet and remix my my stuff um so even if you find um even if you find old linen that doesn't mm -hmm. fit you mm -hmm. you use it for something else yes like, yes you know, if you don't find a tablecloth, if you find a pair of pants or a shirt and it just doesn't fit you, like start thinking about like this could be a leg wrap. This could be mm -hmm. something around a blaster. This could be, a you know, a, I don't know, just a little dangly yeah. piece of fabric yeah. from my belt. Like, yeah, you know, right. Extra, um, yeah. When when uh, Womp Rat Mando and I were at so we have uh, this this mm -hmm. goodwill like outlet store here that's called yeah. the, people call it the bins because it's literally just bins and then it's by yeah. the pound i definitely found a couple of linen things like one was a pair of pants with like a hole in it i was like i don't care i'm getting these <laughs> because i can make something Absolutely. out of that right like that fabric is gonna just yeah be reused and reused so and it gives it it gives it like it gives it more life look those pants i could have just thrown them away right or like but i, I mean, looked at the them and i was like 
I'm, this is going to be something else. Yeah. And it well, became the weathering that everyone. Things. Yeah, yeah. The weathering that everyone's constantly looking for. Like if you find a pair of pants with a hole in it, you're like, well, it's pre weathered. Like you can like you put a patch. Yeah, totally. I love it. Um, do we cover everything? I'm trying to think of, I'm like, like, did you have, did you have an outfit that you really like? Cause we're going to share some, some posts this week. Yes. Show I our look. Yesterday. <laughs> okay. Perfect. I was going to say, was there like one that you were like, that was like, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I just posted it yesterday on my Insta. Well, for the listener, it would have been last Monday. Um, mission Monday. I did a mission. Yes. Um, which was my head to toe um, linen look with that little barrel, leather barrel bag mm-hmm. and rope sandals. And we'll yes. talk more about that. <laughs> <laughs> in a later episode, <laughs> yes. who knows when that'll be? Oh, coming soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think that was my 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 favorite look. I took it specifically to Excaret for that. So some of the shots in that post as well are in that river that we swam through. It's kind of like a lazy river, but it's through caves and stuff, oh, wow. like through a cave okay. system. Um, and that's how you sort of get to the top of the park. So imagine that as like the, wow. the, 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 I don't know, the, the monorail or something. I was going to say, yeah, it's like a water escalator. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you, you could, you could swim it or you could literally just like float your way up there. I love that. That's um, awesome. but it's about an hour. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> it's about an hour, uh, and it was and it was fantastic. And then you're you're you know, but you know, there's sometimes openings, and on either side there's this you know just rock faces and whatnot. So some of the shots in that post also are, uh, are you know are there, and that's okay. what I was wearing, not in the okay. river, but you know. Yeah. Your photos <laughs> were amazing from that. I was like, so the days I was going to do more Star Wars look shoots for the days that my little guy was sick and i was yeah. like oh shoot i was gonna go try and like because i was told that there was like a rope bridge area of this resort that we were at at um yeah. uh, the atlantis is where we were and i never got over there i'm like darn it and so literally i took and i haven't shared them yet i'll, I'll share them after this airs um literally i like put my outfit on like the morning we were leaving and because there were kind of some like really modern ish buildings that yeah. were there. So I was just like, all right, I'll just snap these real quick. But um, yeah, your photos like with like that jungle atmosphere was amazing. Yeah. I, yeah. I, re- I really liked it. Um, yeah. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think we're almost there. I just wanted to add one thing, which I thought yeah. was great um, about being on vacation and it's uh, being able to see um being able to see humans, people of all shapes and sizes, like just enjoying the water and enjoying the sun mm-hmm. and how wonderful that is and how important it is for everyone <laughs> to look around and see that like we are all like different shapes and sizes and we were all absolutely gorgeous and we all absolutely deserve the sun. I'm sorry I had to get on oh, my soapbox for that, but it was fantastic to see that. Sometimes I think we get locked into a lot of pop culture stuff and all we see is like what is presented to us. And uh, when we actually take a, a little look around, um, we see that there's just just a, a just a, an amazing and gorgeous variety of people um, of all shapes, colors, sizes and 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 ages. Um, just and you all deserve the sun. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I love it. And the water. The water. Yeah, and the water. Beautiful absolutely. Times. Yeah. I love it. So that's I think awesome. that's about it for this uh for this episode, right? You yeah, wanna, absolutely. Um, you want to tell everybody where you where um our links are and <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um well, you can find me at one scavenger's wardrobe uh with underscores in between the words at Instagram. Billy, where can folks find you? I'm at Billy Maddox uh, at Instagram. Um, you can find me there all the time. Absolutely. We're there all the time, people. Come say hi. Um, big thanks to the Dad Batch guys for hosting us, bringing mm-hmm. us into the family. And uh, just remember that a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away can be right here, right now. <laughs>